Hey, it's Brickzar, and I just got back from Brick Fair, Alabama, and it's been a crazy day getting everything caught up. I had a mountain of mail that came in, so I got to deal with that. Some packages. I got some hauls coming up. I'm probably going to have to break them up, put, uh, including the hauls from Brick Fair and driving to and from Brick, Brick Fair. So that, I tell you, the Brick Fair, that was my first official LEGO convention. Uh, I've been to le train shows that featured that had LEGO layouts featured there. This is the first LEGO-only fair that I've been to, so it was a learning experience for me. That's the way I viewed it when I went. I didn't take an elaborate mark or any mark. Only my son, they might be bricks, took something. Uh, that was a mistake. Uh, they could have used a lot more... Uh, mocks. They have plenty of space and they encourage it. And that's what I'm going to spend my time doing is working on my own mock. And I'm going to be encouraging you guys to bring something if there is a brick fair in your area, especially if it's in your area. Now I can see where it'd be a hardship for some to drive, even even though my drive was only about two and a half hours. Um, and you know, having to get a hotel room and things like that. But if you live in an area, uh, where a brick fair is, I encourage you, no matter how young you are, take something. Register for the full event. It costs more than going for just one day, but you'll get a lot of things in return that will make it worth your while. Even if you're not able to stay there uh, both of the public days, just have something to display. Come by and pick it up on the last day or, or whatever, but um, I have more to say about that later. So this is just to kind of give you an update because I'm very busy. I've uploaded bat number 15, which I recorded over a week ago. I have no idea what it's about. i got to look to see what it's about. And then, so everything after bat 15 will be fresh and new. Um, I want to give a shout out to Brick Logic Studios again. I really appreciate him. Super nice kid. Him and his mom and his friend John um, really took my son in as their friend and get got to help with that battle of Naboo. I'm going to have videos uh, of the mocks, especially the ones I like. Um, there are some that are cool, but I don't care for the military stuff. Uh, I took some pictures of it, but I'm not going to feature the military stuff. Um, that's just not something that I'm into. Uh, and there's, I'm sure you'll see the Brick Show. Uh, I saw Steven filming what was probably the coolest mock there, or uh, most epic uh, but it was a like a World War II scene or something. But um, I'm sure they'll have some videos of that later. But I won't. Anyway, um, so shout out again to Brick Logic Studios. And of course, we also saw Lego for Chris. I've already mentioned that in a previous video. But uh, it's super cool meeting him. Uh, very, He's just as nice as he is on his videos. And I'll have more to say about that later. And there were other people that I met, some that don't have their own YouTube channel, but they've seen me on YouTube, and uh, appreciate you coming up and saying hey to me. And I met, made some new acquaintances. Um, um, the guy that has a BrickLink store, I ordered some stuff from him, and we had some good conversations about vintage stuff, and I'll have more to say about that later. Hopefully, it's just got so much I can't cover it all. I just wanted to give you an update because I'm swamped with what I... Um, have to do. And I will mention KMH, KMHH 1976 had told me I needed to take something Duplo. You were right. I should have done that. I may, I don't know what I'm going to do the next time I go to a brick fair, but I'm probably going to take more than one item, uh, one mock. I probably will do something Duplo. Only one person had the courage to do that, and he is, I call him a genius. His name's Daniel Pecora. Uh, I loved his stuff that he had, and he is into the vintage stuff. He's a lot younger than me, but the guy, I, I really enjoyed meeting him. So there will be more of that, and non-Brick Fair related, I will be doing a video for LEGO 360 Official. Uh, he has a question about the Metro Liner, so that's I'm going to do that. Uh, I got the stack of stuff that's behind this wall. Uh, that I got to do my haul. It's going to take me a while to sort through that. Uh, and I got some vintage stuff I want to review, but I just wanted to give you this quick update. We'll be get, get back to the back questions. I like the person who suggested that I use an excerpt from the, the bat, old Batman 
theme song. I may do that. I, I don't want to get into any copyright problems with that, but if I can use it in a parody sort of way, I don't think there's a problem with that, but that was a good idea. And you have asked, you, you YouTube, <laughs> you guys have asked some super cool questions. I'm going to try to change the format. I don't want to be bombarding you with a bunch of email, um, not emails, but um, videos. So I'm going to try to combine the questions maybe into one video. It's, um, I wanted to kind of have a way of keeping them organized. That's why I was trying to do one question per video so that you could search the question. But it's quickly becoming not practical because you ask so many great questions. So thank you. And thanks to everybody. I got more that I will mention and give a shout out to uh, later. And it was really uh, great to meet such nice people in the LEGO community. It was a great experience for my son. And, um, of course, uh, Todd Webb, who organized this event, um, great. I uh, really appreciate what he did. So I'm going to get more information about doing these things. I'm not a member of a LEGO user group or anything like that, but I'm thinking I need to change that uh, just so I can have access to what's going on and be better prepared. So anyway, that's a quick update that became not so quick. <laughs> Thanks for watching. This is Briggsar.